today is Wednesday and I have another one of those days and my little friends, my little sons are coming to assist me with filming this video. So yeah, not the best day. Everything started with me ordering a mug yesterday from World Market, which I was so excited to get. And it was ready for pickup today, so I went to pick it up and I had the weirdest interaction with the worker over there. Anyways, that's the mug. It's extremely cute. I've been eyeing it for so long and I saved 530 buying that mug. The mug is $7.99 and I only paid $2.91 because I have $5 coupon and 10% off. It's my new favorite mug. It's so cute. I just couldn't stop thinking about it and I'm just so happy I have it. Anyways, then I go to Target because I wanted to get a bag for myself and I go to Target and I read the email from the job that I applied from and basically Basically, it's the job that changed the title and the one where I had the interview like in the middle of February and you know they said oh we'll let you know our decision in a few weeks because there's like a second round on interviews and I was like okay it's already been a few weeks let me just like email them just show them okay I'm still interested and today I get the email them saying like so nonchalantly like oh yeah we just moved to another candidate and honestly, that made me so, so upset because first of all, you did specifically say you let me know the decision regardless. I was just so upset. It felt like I'm just hitting a dead end, dead end, dead end. It's tiring. It's really, really tiring. And I think I had my moment of weakness today. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Sometimes I just feel like there is no job for me and I just need to like open a thrift store. <laughs> like that's it that's what i have to do it's really frustrating anyways now to the hole so after i created the parking lot i went to target and i got a few things i got toothpaste it was like the cheapest one so the one we buy is extremely expensive at this point there is a lot of air in the packaging like in the tube anyways <laughs> i really don't want to sound negative but i'm really hitting the dead end like I'm, I'm really there and I'm saying it with a smile on my face because if I will not smile I will cry even more and I don't want to cry because I'm strong anyways I got uh, hyaluronic acid because my ended so I got it I got this little hair clip I wanted to get a butterfly but honestly I love butterflies and that was a beautiful butterfly but I felt like it was not aligning with me at this moment and this one is just simple and better it was five dollars so and then i got a bag because honestly i just need uh, like over the shoulder a bag and it looks bigger and it looks like it has a few pockets which is great because the one i have just has like one department i guess or one part in there and maybe i'll put some pins and put a ribbon maybe i'll put pins here but i'm not sure maybe just here and I feel like it looks very nice. It's obviously a copycat of Bagu, but for $18, you know, I'll take it. So yeah, I'm really happy that I found it. There were only two left. And then I was out and I already was planning to go to the store, to the thrift store. And I basically went therapy shopping, which I rarely do, but it was just nice to go and just buy a bunch of stuff. So first I went to Dorcas and I got the embroidery circle which you know you can have too many of them then i got a few journals they started carrying journals which is great i got this self-care journal for three dollars i'll start using it right away because i i need it i need it and i got this interesting thing i got it because of this ducks or geese but i think it's some sort of a candle holder or i have no idea maybe incense because it has a wax in there so and it's just like looks interesting and i thought it was so cute even as a decoration this is like a little thing for our mountain life so when we live in the mountain that will go perfectly another thing i got is this t-shirt from gap which is good a lucky find i think it will be just for me to slip in or just wear whenever like we're like at the beach or traveling again just a simple easy t-shirt then i got hangers because i don't think we ever have enough hangers so that will be perfect it's 10 of them and i feel like this just color combination is so pretty i got another notebook for two dollars it's like this velvety touch or whatever 
I don't know how it's properly called, but it's very nice. Looks like good quality paper and someone wrote some notes or quotes in here. And then I got a few CDs. They didn't have any like pop music, but I really wanted to start building my CD collection because I don't know, I just really love CDs and I'm definitely a CD person, not a um, record player. I was looking for a CD player or like a CD, like a radio type of player, but I couldn't find anything, unfortunately, but hopefully one day. So I got this Fresh Air Free. I have no idea what those CDs are. I just got them because they looked cool and they gave me like cool vibes. This is Ocean Dreams. I feel like it will be something maybe it will be something calming because it says parents choice award winner i thought it would be like some dreamy meditating you know those um windows players and the visualization so i thought it would be this and then i got this cd it's big bad voodoo daddy <laughs> um i hope it's something cool jazzy uh, new orleans because it says voodoo and the illustrations are pretty cool and inside there is this cd with an eye everything that i like so i hope it's cool and then i went to trip to gift because i was still looking for a lamp and for a cd player and basically i found a few things but nothing that i was looking for first thing that i got is this pillow and pepper already was trying to play with it uh some tassels are cut i feel like someone just did it it's you know not in the greatest state but so you can see like someone tried to mend it or so. I think this might go to the car. So whatever, you know, it will be great for the car. Then I got two more books. I got Italian Cooking School Vegetables. It has uh, some like egg and butter and cheese. So it's like vegetarian, not vegan, but it's, you know, easily replaceable ingredients. And uh, it's just so, so simple, like, you see how little text, so it's perfect for making something easy. And then another book, I know I said no more books, but I just couldn't skip those two. So yeah, the cooking book and another book is 50s and 60s style. Just another encyclopedia about the history of 50s and 60s. I thought it was pretty cool and unique because it briefly touches on everything like design, clothes, pop culture, music, what happened, history, like, it's just so interesting and 50s and 60s not necessarily like my favorite times but i love learning about the design of 60s especially because it's just so funky and so interesting definitely not my style but it's just so extra and that's why i like it then i got this plate this is from false graph I also googled it, so I looked it up what it is, and I see those plates often, and I just love this combination of blue, and it's not white, it's like grayish, so I think that would be a very useful plate. Then, of course, I got a CD. It has actually two CDs inside. It's called Elements Host the Planets, and I hope it's something cool as well, because again, astrology planets universe i love the vibes the last thing that i got that i was so happy to find it's this basket bag i think it will be useful whatever we like travel or even you know for summer or just uh i don't know just putting groceries i may just permanently move it into my car and just keep it in there and put groceries whatever I go grocery shopping or i may just carry it as a as my bag because in one of my videos from last year i was talking about how i really wanted that jane birkin style basket and i found similar one but this one is a little bit bigger so i feel like that would be perfect even like for a picnic honestly whatever like we go somewhere for a little picnic i think this will be perfect and that's it it's not a lot but it is a lot you know going to the interview knowing 
well that the answer most likely will be a no is quite hard and challenging but i just keep hearing in my head like against all odds against all odds against all odds i'll be okay whatever is a no it means that there are better things for me like i knew already that those things were not for me so there's no need to cry about it which is fine because we're human beings we have different range of emotions I mean, it's okay to get frustrated and mad and upset because sometimes life is not as you want it to be but i just keep hearing like against all odds i feel like i'll be okay and i believe in that i do believe in that i am like i'm happy i had my sad moment today but i no longer well at least today i no longer will be having a pity party for myself i think it's important to just acknowledge your emotions and feelings and just move on so that's what i'm going to do today just i will move on from that whatever it will be okay i believe it will be okay gym it was a success i felt better and i also went to the store so i'm going to show you what i got some groceries i'm going to make new zealand sweet potato chickpeas curry so that's why i got some ingredient this is my main ingredient first is first we're drinking this it's a new drink i got today and i got three other flavors i got grape crisp apple grape is for my husband and then i got ginger brew so it's good so far i enjoyed it so hopefully i like the other flavors but it's it's been good i like drinks like that because this year i also don't drink alcohol so i'm just trying to trying to try different flavors and different brands obviously sweet potatoes for the curry recipe then it also needed some garbanzo beans so i just got three cans i'm pretty sure i just need one I got the food line and Hanover. With the leftovers, I may try to make homemade hummus. Then I got the diced tomatoes with no added salt. I think I need also one can, but I got two. Then I'm going to make garam masala at home. I'm just not sure if I have everything, but I just got cumin just in case, you know, in case I need it. We do have an Indian store here, so I may just go there and get some other spices or some garam masala if they have it. I also hope I pronounce it right because in my head it sounds right. Then I got everything's mushroom. I didn't know that they sell it at Food Lion. I only know about like mushroom seasoning from Trader Joe's and obviously ground chipotle because lately I've been making those chipotle bowls at home and they've been very good. I got a big bag of carrots because I got hummus and I feel like we use carrots a lot so it's nice to have it and just a snack i'm going to like peel it and have it in the box so that it's like easily accessible throughout the week then i got reed's crackers everything bagel they're the best ones and they're vegan and i love them then i got new hummus to try it's also everything bagel hummus basically just with seeds hopefully it's good i don't know this brand but i really hope it's good then i got some lime and ginger for the recipe a bunch of onions because we never have enough onions so it's just good to have some onions at home and i got oats i really want to try to make my own oat milk so i don't know i will try with this food line brand i don't think it will be good but we'll see hopefully it will be good <laughs> And then I went to a new library that I never been before. It was a tiny library, but it was near the gym. So I got three books and I got, uh, and I returned two books, but I got three books that actually two books that I need to finish reading. It's 
Obed by Victoria Chang and it's nice poetry. It's a little bit complex for me because English is not my native language but I feel like it's very contemporary and nicely written. And then I got Sarah for Change. Oops. Sarah for Change. I read that book in 2022 and it was great for just learning more about Sarah cards from the self-care perspective. And then another book I got it's Do What You Are. Discover the Perfect Career which is I need it. It's basically by the, the personality uh, test. I will redo my personality test again. I actually do it almost every year just to see if there are any changes, which is a cool way to just monitor how you as a person change and evolve. But yeah, I just got this book to see what career I should choose. And honestly, at this point, like I look at everything. I look at my mid heaven and my human design, like anything, anything that will give me guidance. I do have some interviews though next week so one is in chapel hill but we'll see i'm honestly going for experience but i kind of automatically know that that would not be a great fit because of a distance and it's nine to six it's not nine to five I really need to like figure it out the post licensing education now because I think this is important just like you know one step at a time. I don't think I'll be speaking about the job situation anymore because it just like frustrates me personally but I feel like sometimes I just need to vent and at the same time I also want to document this path because once again like sooner or later it will be not that important to me. But it's tough and it's not only tough for me it's tough for everybody and uh, as Especially when you don't have American education, when you're not from here. And especially when you don't have American sound name, like that can be even more harder. And I just, I can't even relate to people who from like East Asia or African countries because the level of discrimination, I feel like is insane to be honest. But yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll just report when I'll find something. I just really want to share like the life that I want to look back in two or three years and be like, okay, this is how I live. Yeah, I think I really want to focus on positivity. Also, I keep saying to myself, I'm going to take this week slowly, yet I just can't calm down. I really need to like <sighs> calm down calm down but i really have a fear of missing out when it comes to the job but what is mine comes to me easily whatever door closed it means it was not for me and this is the truth and i know it from experience so i should not be getting upset okay that was a good little positive self-talk good job <laughs> i'm just going to eat hummus and have a uh, relax in the rest of the day smile right now because i really don't want to cry i really want to just keep finishing editing pins because i just applied to a bunch of jobs so that's good but yeah i just got an email from this company with whom i actually had interview scheduled for next week the phone interview and it was cool because it was for payroll assistant so i feel like i would have been able to learn a lot there because i don't know if i mentioned i probably did that i really want to go study accounting either this fall semester or next uh, spring semester and i want to start doing it slowly i scheduled that interview the phone interview like this morning around nine and now i got an email saying my interview got cancelled and they found the person i don't know how that's possible because you literally just posted this job ad job market is already hard as it is job seekers have to fight or try to avoid scammers mlms unprofessional recruiters who don't know what they're doing and on top of that you also have this like fake ads it's insane recruiters posting the same jobs over and over again just to show that they actually recruiting and you apply to those jobs and they tell you no 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 and then you realize issue is not probably even you it's the fact that it's a system you know they need to show up that they post so many ads without even thinking and considering the fact that it affects real people I'll be honest, I don't see the light. I don't think I'll be finding a good job. It seems like they're like for real selling jobs in Raleigh and they keep posting the same thing. I just want to have a decent office job. I don't want to climb any ladders. I just want to do some office job, learn from that and expand my knowledge. You know, that's it. And I think it's happening. I don't think it will happen. 
sometimes i really just don't see the light anymore and i don't know what i'm doing here like i know i'm married and i have my husband here but like what else no job is not the center of majority of people's lives but it's important part like i'm not expecting much i don't want google type of you know job or that level i'm just I'm really close to my limit. I am just so exhausted. I am so exhausted. I don't know. I'm I'm truly rethinking my whole life right now and my future and I don't see it. There is no light at the end of a tunnel. I feel like this is just the loop that I am in repeatedly and then just happening and happening and happening. Oh, hello, good morning. Didn't see you there. Well, I am at the Patel Brothers. I left home almost right in time. I wish I left earlier because the lawn people came and they gave me a lot of anxiety. I just hope nothing will be damaged, but I feel like at this point, I'm just aware of the process. But I also kind of feel more positive this time than before for some reason. Like, I don't know, they just looked credible. But again, like as I said, I'm also aware of the process and the fact that um, they may break pots, they may cut something they're not supposed to cut. And at this point, there is no need to get disappointed because like I do have the right to get upset but at the same time like it will not bring me anything oh, but yes I'm going to Patel Brothers to get some stuff for Del Tatka to make roti and to um like some spices basically for uh garam masala I really hope I pronounce those things right anyways and then I'll go to the lake because I just need some access to water today I consciously decided not to look at the jobs because I really wanted a day like that just need like a chill day I want to clean when I come back home I want to cook I want to just like enjoy my day and then on Monday we'll go back to business So it's like a grocery vlog, honestly. I just want to show you what I got at the Patel Brothers. Baby, come here. Little story. I came home and I couldn't find Pep. Nowhere, nowhere in his spots. And basically I think he was stuck underneath the sofa. So I have to lift the sofa and literally push him with like one hand out of it. But yeah, I almost had a heart attack, but he's safe. 
Anyways, this is what I got at the Patel Brothers. A lot of it is for the recipe that I'm going to make either like this weekend or like next week. Basically, it's like Tal Datka, I think it's called, with roti, which I really like from the restaurant nearby. So I decided to try to make it myself. So first of all, I got this flour for roti. I got mustard seeds for the recipe. I didn't know which one I really need or which one would be the best. So I got two packs. I got the cardamom powder to make garam masala, but I also got the powder in case mine will not be successful. I got the whole chili peppers. I got cumin seeds. I got chili powder. Come on, Pringy. I got two types of lentils just for us to try. Then this is for dal tatka. I got this. This is also for the recipe of dal tatka. Obviously, dates. I love dates. I'm really excited to eat them. A few of these green peppers, henna, because I like henna. So I may just put some dots on my arms. And Indian sweet potato. I actually will be adding it tonight into the New Zealand recipe. We'll see how it will go. Hopefully good. Then something else I got at the thrift store. I didn't see much, but I found this CD. I don't know, I just love listening to different music. So the folklore of, I think it's Anne's, uh, will be very nice. I finally found something that I was looking for a very long time. It's this butter thing, because I found vegan butter in sticks. And I think that would be just nice to put butter in here. It's just nice and aesthetically pleasing. And just reminds me of the life in the like village, somewhere in the mountains, of course. So... Yes, this is what I got. I enjoy Patel Brothers. I feel like they have such a great choice of different like spices. I mean, for obvious reasons, but there's like so many things to try. I tried to look at them, but I didn't want to like stop and take notes. But yeah, I'm just happy I was able to find everything so fast. I'm really curious about this powder. I want to smell it because I never heard about it. Just like really curious how it smells. Apparently it's from some root. Pringle. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, smells... Oh, God. It smells strong. It smells like onion. Like baked onion for some reason. Interesting. I'm just really excited to cook with different things. Because this year I really like expanding uh, my culinary, my cuisine skills. I was never a chef. <laughs> oh, Peppy, Pep. <laughs> Pep usually doesn't like smells. He is not as adventurous as Prinky will smell, but that was probably the longest sniff he's done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just excited to try different spices, different things, different recipes, and just expand my skills and knowledge because I really, my goal eventually is to be able to go to the store and just get some ingredients and know in my head what I can make. Even if I have to like look out for the recipe, at least I know that those are the things like I can mix or the things that I need eventually. So that's my goal. And I really want to cook for like other people just to have like dinners with friends or, you know, family. I really liked when we had Christmas party not a Christmas party, but Christmas with my husband's parents. And that was nice because like I cooked mashed potatoes and some other things. And it was just so nice. I really enjoyed it. And I want to cook my food with love and care. I don't think it should be any other way because food is important for us as human beings. So whenever I cook, I always try to stay like mindful and ground myself and be a little bit more positive because I feel like it's very important. Mm -hmm.